Good morning and welcome to another day in my life at Google's Dublin headquarters situated in Ireland. We start as I take a flight from London Stansted all the way over to Dublin to spend a few days in the city, catch up with some different Google folks, present at an event and hand over some projects. We land in Dublin, I grab a taxi into the city centre and immediately meet up with my awesome teammate Demi who has flown in all the way from Amsterdam. So we enjoy some of the most amazing Japanese food I've ever had in a while with some rather strong plum wine to accompany it too. So, so good. We both walk back discussing all of the different things that we're going to miss about Dublin because this is very likely the last time that both of us will come back to Dublin at least for the next while. And we're both staying at this mega, mega fancy hotel in the center of the city called the Marker Hotel, which has its own like super fancy gym, super long pool, and of course, a spa area, which we both decide to visit tomorrow night. After a quick tour of the hotel and spa, I head into my room and call it a night, which takes us very nicely into the next day. And the next morning, I wake up, have a shower, brush my teeth, put on some weird got to be powder in my hair just to keep that looking fine, because today I'm delivering a series of presentations for a video expansion event. So I thought, you know, today's as good a day as any to look a little bit fancy. So I put on my navy suit jacket so that I'm ready to start the day. I head on over to the office in a rather wet and rainy Dublin. And as I've learned over the time that I've visited Dublin, it's pretty common for Ireland to be fair. I feel like I left the UK in a heat wave and it was like raining in Dublin, but whatevs. Uh, and grab myself a full English, or should I say, full Irish breakfast at the Google Cafe whilst I kind of think about and internalize what my plan is for the day. After breakfast, I head up to this stunning, super colorful rainbow staircase into the Google building where I'll be working from. All right, I'm ready, let's go. And today we're actually hosting like a super important video expansion event because we're giving virtual talks and presentations to both in-person and virtual people right across the Google business just to help improve knowledge of YouTube advertising solutions, mostly focusing on YouTube action campaigns, which is what we've kind of been working on for the last year or so. After a few hours of presenting, it's time to have a quick look around the office passing through a micro kitchen, this cool kind of blue sofa area, some super colorful pods, which are definitely my favorite place in the office to take calls in a semi-confined environment, and past this table football, and of course, nothing less than a mini golf course that I found for the first time on this trip to Dublin. It's then time to head back down the colorful glass staircase and walk on over to lunch in a completely different building, Honestly, the restaurant options feel almost endless here. It's like there's three restaurants in each building. So the thing is with Dublin, you just need to be prepared to walk a few minutes to get around the offices. But you know, it's a good excuse to one, get the step count in and two, work up a little bit of an appetite. So I head into the restaurant and meet up with some friends in the sales team for lunch for a lovely catch up and debrief on the morning's presentations. After lunch, I head back through the office and through the super colorful pride themed Google sign for some more talks and presentations that we're delivering as a video team today. We're sharing vital knowledge on growing on YouTube that our small team has built up over the past year. And this afternoon is a little bit more around how we can help our sales teams navigate our awesome partners and brands through the video growth journey, which is super exciting. And then that concludes the talks of the day. And I head upstairs to chill for a bit on these kind of comfortable curved chairs while also taking in the lovely view across Dublin city center. Then it's time to get some actual work done. <laughs> and I find this cool hidden area to get some focused work completed and bash through some email responses. Though I must admit, by the end of that little work session, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should book a holiday to the Bahamas. Bahamas aside, I have a quick catch up call with the wider team just to check we're all aligned on what we're delivering tomorrow. And it's now approaching the end of the day, 
but there's just enough time to pop down to the Google Gym for a quick little workout and also have a quick look around the swimming pool which was recently opened and is mad interesting because it's actually built above the ground, not under or like in the ground. Super interesting, but whatever works, huh? After freshening up, I leave the Google office and head on back over to the super fancy Marker Hotel that I'm staying at. And because we have access to this hotel and of course all its benefits, we decide what better way to spend an evening in Dublin than of course to spend it on top of a rooftop bar. We got some drinks and ordered some food and they brought over some plates. But 10 minutes later, the waiter came back to tell us that actually there's no food being served due to an event that was happening, which was a little bit sad times. Anyhow, we have an awesome catch up and actually many of the team were looking at new roles and new companies uh, soon and new opportunities when I filmed this. So we just have a real good chin whack, you know, about the past, the present and everything that people are looking forward to doing and all the different exciting things and projects that we'll all be doing and working on in the future. And let me tell you, the view over the top of this roof was so legit, so, so nice. We say our goodbyes and then I head back to my hotel room. And shortly, David and Demi join me where we have what I can only describe as an absolute mega sushi feast. And to be fair, it's probably like 9, 10 p.m. at this point. So we were, you know, super, super hungry. And let me tell you, the night view out of my hotel room was even nicer in the evening where they had these kind of like illuminated red poles sticking up in the city. I'm sure someone in the comments will explain what they are, but it did look really, really pretty. So Demi figures out the coffee machine and then we gather for the true moment you've been waiting this entire vlog for, the one, the only Mario Kart tournament of tournaments. <laughs> so yeah, this was a super fun and chill way to end the day. And as you can see on Mario Kart, we got super, super competitive and played for a good few hours in the hotel. Thank you, Nintendo Switch. And thank you, Charles, for remembering to bring a HDMI cable. What a win. So that bids an end to this day. I then arise and arrive back into the Google HQ the next morning where I join Demi and Leo for breakfast before we then get into some last minute meeting prep and planning in this yeah, super comfortable uh, and relaxing room. Okay, so I have... Leo and I then host and record a live workshop that goes through a real life example of a company wanting to grow on YouTube and what strategies, tips, tools, and techniques I would work with them on to implement and optimize them for the greatest success. She asked me some super challenging questions, for sure, but it was a super fun experience and also ultimately just helping other Googlers um, to be able to help other companies and creators too. Next, it's time for some focused work next to my good friend and colleague, David. Before, you guessed it, yep, it's time for another food break. It's lunch. And after the sushi feast last night, I'm trying to be a little bit more healthy today. So I grabbed myself some healthier lunch and a carrot smoothie. Wait, wait, sorry, hang on a second. Did I say me being healthy? Well, what you're definitely not seeing right now is me grabbing ice cream from the soft serve machine. Promise, <laughs> though, to be fair, this ice cream and pasta donut combination was delicious. Worth the cows. <laughs> we then have one final meeting as a mini team as we start to wrap up the work we've been doing over the past year into lots of useful, shareable resources and sound bites for everyone else to use. Demi and I then catch up on the swings outside as we figure out all of our different roles that we are looking at next within Google um, and outside of Google and just discussing what our plans are when I get back to London and when Demi gets back to Amsterdam. Then as we get closer to the end of the day, it's then time for a visit to the one and only special on-site swag store where there is lots of really cool Google and YouTube merchandise from like hoodies to t-shirts to stickers to pin badges to notepads. This swag store, it's got it all. 
So we have a look around the swag store and also a look around the foundry, which is this building um, within the office and find this like super, super weird, uh, like photo gallery thing. But there is actually some really cool, not often seen hidden gems around here, which I'm showing you guys today, including a super large silver Android statue, a Google G logo made out of plants. And I also found this whole Foundry Green Room production studio and also huge Google Theatre, which is a lovely way to wrap up this tour, end the day and also wrap up this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button below and check out this video to watch next. Thanks.